Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. How are you? We do yarn hauls, reviews, podcasts, anything related to knitting or fiber arts, and today is no different. Uh, if you guys don't know, I just came back from Europe. I created a Knit Around the World series, and I just thought it to be really nice to talk about all of the countries that I went to, as well as all the yarn stores I was able to see, and then also, I guess, talk about all the um, sightseeing that I got to just as a kind of travel diary so I hope you guys are interested because that is what you're gonna see for the next couple weeks so today I'm wearing the Alice top by petite knit it is such an easy knit I knitted this in maybe three days I did it immediately when I came home because I think that's when the pattern came out um, but this is just how it looks like I'm just wearing like a sports bra with it. It's just so nice and simple and like basic and cute and it has quite a bit of raw edges. All of this, all of everything and even the bottom. So you're not picking up anything. You're just literally just knitting up here and then the top. I would love to make another one honestly because I knitted this with five millimeter which is what it suggested and it just goes by so quickly. I used three strands, one drops saffron in like the white color, one for my bases, the bamboo, and then one strand of this, I think it's like a cotton acrylic blend that I got from Hobby such a long time ago that I have just been hiding away just hoping that I'll forget about it and not have to think about it but I used up essentially like one skein and I felt really good about it. Just seeing all the yarn disappear and turn into this beautiful piece makes me uh, want to knit more, use up more of my stash. So we're feeling good. We're feeling good about this yarn band that I'm on. I'm gonna talk about it every video. So I will be accountable. I just wanted to thank Native for sponsoring this video. So I really enjoyed Native. It keeps me feeling really fresh whenever I'm wearing my knits in the summertime. They kindly gifted me three scents that I'd love to show you guys. One thing that I love about Native is that they have such a wide selection of scents that you can choose from. So the first one, we got our standard coconut and vanilla. I just think she is classic. I actually bought the travel size one and I brought it to Europe and I used it every day and it was so nice just feeling fresh every day knowing that I was secure and smelling great. The next scent I got was honey and white oak. Again, I was just feeling the really classic scents, kind of something just like this almost smells like a really good detergent. And then last but not least, I got vanilla and Sandalwood, this one is probably my favorite right now. I just, there's something about sandalwood just, just gives me a more masculine smell to it. And that is something I gravitate towards whenever I look for a deodorant. Application is really smooth and dry. I don't feel sticky at all when I'm applying. I really appreciate that it's aluminum free, paraben free, vegan and cruelty free. It uses super clean, simple and effective ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. So Native protects odor all day, the 72 hour protection. They also offer a plastic free version, which I have also used and loved. It has the same formula, but sustainable packaging. So it's earth friendly and 100% plastic free. Native also offers body washes and lotions. I also have the body washes and I still to this day, I love my mint and eucalyptus scent. So I have a code for you guys. If you use the code LU3, you get 20% off your first purchase. So definitely go check out the link in the description. First city that I went to was London. I went for five days and four nights, but I would say the first and last day were kind of travel days. So I didn't actually spend that many days in London, but I do feel like we did see quite a bit. Like we were just like hitting all the spots. I didn't think I was going to hit up any yarn stores during this trip, but especially in London, I knew that there were a couple that I wanted to hit, uh, but I wasn't really sure if it fit in our schedule. They were kind of farther out. I was worried about transiting alone. For the first full day, we went to Camden Market. Camden Market was so cute, oh my goodness. They had this one like really nice vintage section and this one section that had a bunch of rings. I feel like if I lived in London, I probably would slowly accumulate things as I go to these places more often, but it's kind of, I don't know, it was too hard to kind of just like walk in there and be like, okay, I want everything and then buy it uh, because I knew I had to save for the yarn obviously but the vintage section was so cool i also wish they had a better like trying on section i think that was also another worry for me was just not being able to try, to try anything on and the conversion for the pound to the canadian dollar is so bad right now so everything is times 1.7 we did not want to buy absolutely everything i was able to transit there to the loop yarn store the loop yarn store it was so adorable oh my goodness i think 
number one, you have to go to this if you're in London. It is so adorable. It's just in this like boutique go in. There was a second floor. Loki, there was a third floor. I almost went up there, but I realized that it was storage and that was a mistake. When you go in, the bottom floor kind of has a lot of Issyur. The second floor had mannequins. I love that there were swatches by all the yarns. They even had some Le Bien Ami, which I low-key was so tempted as well as uh ito sensei which i think is the mohair i was feeling those two up i would have bought it but i saw the wall of gepard and i was like oh, okay i think i can at least justify that but the ito i get it she i want to say was probably the softest mohair i've ever felt in my life so they had this little cart of yarns i'll hopefully be able to link it or something but it had a bunch of yarn that was hand i think spun or bred in the uk i love uh getting yarns that are from different places so i was so tempted to get that one i don't know why i did not do it i'm still thinking about it it is just so rustic and you guys know how much i love a good rustic yarn definitely recommend it's not that far and the area has a lot of shops if you walk kind of across the main street there were a lot of other shops that i wish i could have gone to but i was kind of more I was focused on hitting up as many yarn stores as I could that day. So we were prioritizing. We were, we had to prioritize. Uh, the next place I did end up going to was Wild and Woolly. I think just a bus away, but it, it was kind of a venture. Like I think it took me 40 to like an hour um, to get back to the hostel. I did really like it. So if you do have time, I do suggest it because it's really nice. And if you're into Rosa Parmar uh, and you want to see maybe a different selection of yarns, I uh, highly recommend this place. Everybody. All the people who work at yarn stores are like the loveliest people ever. They're really nice to me. I think I'm someone who likes to browse for a really long time without any help. I really appreciate people who kind of can understand that. It's really cool. Like instead of them using, you know, like cubicles, kind of like the calyx everyone uses, they had kind of wooden boxes that held the yarn, which I thought looked really nice because they, they are working with a smaller area, but I felt like there was so much to look at. I also really appreciated they had a rack of like baby knits so you could see the yarns all knit up and I I don't know it's kind of like you're shopping but you're not shopping and I I don't know I just like being able to feel the yarns when they're knitted up only other yarn store that I did end up going to was beautiful knitters is kind of closer to Buckingham Palace uh, I kind of made it so uh, when we went to see like the Big Ben the London Eye and like Westminster Abbey that was the day that I went to go to beautiful knitters and that one was beautiful oh my goodness I think beautiful knitters is a little bit pricey not necessarily because uh, it's more expensive but just the yarns that they hold are just more I guess luxurious they had a ton of Issyur I I hadn't seen that much variation of Issyur so they had like Issyur sock yarn um I think I saw uh, they had the trio one just a lot of different things that a lot of different things that I hadn't seen before and I would have gotten them but again we were hit with that cis get so they just had a wall just full of hanks uh just full hanks just everywhere it was whenever I see a wall of hanks I'm always overwhelmed really nice displays we're just buying one thing getting a wonderful beautiful knitter's tote because I have that now it's kind of like my little knitting tote bag for when I want to bring bigger knits out. It's really nice in there and I feel like if I lived in London, I would want to go there all the time just to look at the yarns and gawk over them and like want to buy everything but knowing that everything is like a little out of my price range but still kind of like doing it anyway to like treat myself.
Those were the only ones I got to see. I really honestly wish I could have seen more. Other places that were kind of on my list, I wish I could have seen my ivory room. It was kind of further out and if I had more time, I totally would have gone. But the selection is so cute. She holds uh, Maya yarn, BC yarn. She also holds some C-knits, which is also really nice. And then another place that was on my list but was extremely far away was Knit. Uh, like with two T's. I bought yarn from them before, but they have such a huge selection of Phil Kalana. I think Sun is Garn as well, and probably other things. I think they're a good online shop. I just wish that they didn't hit me with customs. If you are in the UK and you can buy from them, just buy from them. So if I left out any other uh, good yarn stores that you guys know of, definitely leave them in the comments below. Uh, these are just kind of things that I saw and, and wanted to see. So thank you for staying till the end of the video. If you guys don't know, I'm on Patreon. We have a Discord, I post on Instagram, and uh, we post YouTube videos and we stream sometimes. So that's really nice. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.